we're to the midpoint method and at, at this point we should probably use the general runge kutta formula um, for the second order uh, runge kutta methods which the midpoint method is Hoyne's method is and so is Ralston's method which is what we're going to do next and so we get y i plus one equals y i plus a one k one plus a two k two and that's all times h and the midpoint method is uh, the special case where we say a two equals um, a two equals one which uh, also implies if you look at the other constraints that a one equals zero so what that means is that we have y i plus one equals y i plus no a one k one just a2, but a2 is 1, so just k2 times uh, times h. And our k1 is equal to k1 equals f x i y i, and k2 equals f at x i plus h over 2, so we're a half a step ahead in the x, and then uh, y i plus h over two half a step in the y, but uh, we we modify that by our our best guess at a slope, so plus that times k one. So uh, this is the midpoint method. So we can just go through, uh, go ahead and go through an example, uh, the example now using our actual values. So uh, to start out with, we have i equals 0 and so we're gonna have a k1 uh, k1 equals y naught t naught cubed minus 1.5 y naught and uh, so that is equal to y naught was equal to 1 so it would be 1 times 0 cubed because the initial time is 0 minus 1.5 times um, 1. So k1 is going to equal minus 1.5. Now we can say k2, uh, I'm just going to do k2 over here, so k2 equals, um, let's see, well the problem with k2 is k2 is going to equal f of t0 plus h over 2 comma uh, y 0 plus h over 2 times k 1. Well so the first thing that we need to do is figure out what these inner arguments are. So this t naught plus h over 2 that's going to be 0 plus uh, 1 half of 0.5 0 0.5 over 2 so that's going to be that's going to be 0 0.25 and then this part is going to be why not well why not is 1 plus h over 2 is 0 0.25 we just figured that out 0. I say 0 0.25 but I wrote down 0 0.5 0 0.25 times k1 which is uh, minus 1.5 so we get a minus no not a minus it'll be yeah it'll still be plus 0 0.625 all right that is um, so k2 is going to equal f of 0 0.25 0 0.625 so all we've done so far is figured out where we've got to evaluate it. Now we actually have to go through uh, and, and uh, do the evaluation. So that's going to equal 0 0.625 times 0 0.25 cubed minus 1.5. 1.5 times 0 0.625 and that 
the result of that is negative 0 0.9277. And I have to warn you, when I did the, the results here, I actually carried out more decimal places than I'm typically showing. So you might get these off by just just one smidgen if you um, if you calculate them out, but they'll be pretty much uh, equivalent. So then, now we've got our K1 and our K2. So with our K1 and our K2, well, we really just needed our K1 to calculate our K2, but now that we have our K2, we can figure out our Y. So we got Y1, that's a sloppy Y. Y1 is equal to Y0 plus uh, K2 times H. And that is equal to y0 is 1 plus k2, negative 0 0.9277 times 0 0.5. And that is going to be equal to 0. It's, it's actually 1 minus basically almost a half, right? Because if you look, that's, that's almost minus 1, and that's OK. So that's going to be 0 0.5361. So uh, that's the first value uh, for i equals 0. Now we can go ahead and, and continue on with the process. We're going to have to say that an i equals 1. And for i equals 1, we've got to again calculate our k1. So our k1 is equal to y1 t1 cubed minus 1.5 times y1. Again, this is. So this is our y1. We're going to have to use that in the next set of calculations. So that k1 is going to equal 0 0.5361 times uh, t1, which is 0 0.5 cubed minus 1.5 times 0 0.5361. OK, and that is going to be equal to negative 0 0.7372. All right, and then we have K2 is equal to F of T1 plus H over 2 Y1 plus H over 2 times k1 and before we can do this we have to figure out what t1 plus h over 2 is and so that's going to be uh, t1 is 0 0.5 plus h over 2 plus 0 0.25 so that result is going to be 0 0.75 and so we're going to say equals f of 0 0.75 and the y value is going to be y1, so that was 0 0.5361 plus h over 2 is 0 0.25 times our k1, which was, we just see it right here, minus 0 0.7372. And when we crunch that out, we get, uh, let's see. 0 0.3518. Okay, so we're going to do f of 0 0.75, 0 0.3518. And when we do that, that's going to equal, uh, so you say y, well, not y, this is just our k2. So that's equal to 0 0.5. 3518 uh, times t cubed, so it's 0 0.75 cubed minus 1.5 times uh, 0 0.3518, and that is equal to, scroll down just a little bit here, that is equal to minus 0. 0.3713. Okay, so that's our K2, and that was a big thing. Um, it's 3793, I'm sorry. 
Now, uh, we remember from our original equation that y2 equals y1 plus k2h. Uh, so our y1 was uh, 0 0.5361, so plus our k2 is going to be minus 0 0.3. 3793 times 0 0.5, that's our h, and that is going to equal uh, 0 0.3465. Okay, so that's y2, and uh, that's uh, that's a I think a good a good start. You just keep uh, stepping through, and this is how you do the midpoint method.